Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Media Show, and once again, we have another review on the NES Little Nemo Dream Master. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, why don't we just get into it and find out? Released in 1990, Little Nemo Dream Master is a side-scrolling platformer developed and published by Capcom. The game follows a young boy named Nemo as he falls asleep and journeys to a place called Slumberland. Once in Slumberland, Nemo will have to travel to the Nightmare Land to rescue Morpheus, the king of Slumberland, from the evil Nightmare King. Nemo will have to progress through seven stages to get to the Nightmare King. The stages include Mushroom Forest, Flower Garden, House of Toys, Night Sea, Nemo's House, Cloud Ruins, and finally Nightmare World. Unlike many platformers, on most levels there is no end boss. Rather, Little Nemo needs to find six keys to open a door at the end of each level. Okay, so here's the thing. We all know that a lot of games on the NES are hard. That's why people refer to it as NES hard. And that doesn't necessarily mean that those games are bad because a lot of those games have really good controls and all you have to do is practice, play the game more and more, and you'll get better at it. And that's what makes a lot of those games good. And then you have some games that are horrible because everything's horrible about them and there's no amount of playing that are going to make that game worthwhile. And then you have games that are in between. For me, Little Nemo falls into that category. Now, I know a lot of people may disagree that have played this game and that's fine. And I could see why you would disagree with me. Little Nemo is hard. And with that, the controls in not the whole game, but in parts of the game, drive you... Okay, so clearly I have some issues with this game. But that doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad game. Yes, it does have its problems. But there are a lot of things this game does right as well. As Nemo moves along each level, he will need to befriend different animals and use their abilities to find all six keys. Nemo befriends the animals by feeding them three pieces of candy. In return, Nemo will be able to either ride or inhabit the animal's body. The animals include a gorilla, bee, frog, lizard, hermit crab, flounder, mole, and mouse. Each animal has a different ability to help Nemo retrieve the keys in different situations. So now you made it to the final level. Thank God. And Lord knows you've done some dying along the way because it took everything you had to get here. Okay, maybe not everything you had, but I'm not that good of a player for any game, so it took me a lot to get here. And just like with any other level, it's the same. It's Little Nemo Dream Master on the NES. Despite some of its shortcomings, still a game that I believe worth picking up and trying out. It has good graphics, good sound, and you could definitely go worse on the NES. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, catch you later.